Hi everyone! In this video, I'll be demonstrating how to germinate seeds and start plants in a hydroponic environment. This is something I get a lot of questions about on the channel, and I'm hoping this video will help guide people who are just getting started in the hydroponics game. I've been refining my seed starting process over the years to make it easier and cheaper. What follows is my favorite method to get healthy, young plants. To get started, we will need a growing medium, which is a fancy way of saying something to hold our seed. I'll be using this rock wool cube, which seems to be an industry standard. What I'm going to do though is break down my rock wool into smaller pieces. Using a full cube is just a needless waste of resources. I'm going to be using these bell pepper seeds you see here to demonstrate my methods. I've used these same processes to start a variety of fruits, vegetables, and flowers all having success. I've got my rock wool pieces set up in an ice cube tray with pre-drilled holes. To germinate our seed, we want to set it on top of our rock wool and give the rock wool access to water. You can see here I'm suspending this ice cube tray above a container that is filled with water. Rock wool is able to soak up and wick moisture. It's going to fully saturate and give our seeds access to all the hydration they need to germinate and grow. At this point, I use a secondary container base to act as a lid of sorts covering my seed starting setup. I cover all of this with a towel to keep things dark. In my experience, there's no need to purchase a humidity dome or a heating mat with this method. I typically put this setup in front of a window to get some free warmth from the sun. From this point, I check in on my seeds once every day to see where they are at. Here we are in day six and we can see that all of our seeds have germinated. These seeds all have a white root emerging from them. You can see that clear root and then what looks to be fuzz surrounding it. I often see people asking if this is mold or bad for the plants, but these are root hairs. They're a sign that these roots are ready to go and thriving. We want to keep our plants in the dark until we have stems starting to form and lift up. Here we are in day 10 and that's exactly what we have happening. You can see that some of these plants have fully emerged from their seed casings while others are still working on that. Once plants open up, they begin looking for light and if they can't find it, they will stretch themselves out. This is why we want to monitor our seeds daily so we can get our newly sprouted plants into adequate light before they stretch themselves. Long, lanky plants will have weaker stems and might even stretch themselves to a point that they can't stand upright. Now that our seeds have turned into small seedlings, we can make sure that they are properly set up in their rock wool cubes and will have access to the water in our reservoir. Ideally, the root of our plant will bury itself through the rock wool and into our reservoir. In the instances where this doesn't happen, the plant and its root might be sitting beside or on top of the cube. When this happens, I like to slice into the rock wool cubes and manually insert my young plants. They'll be nice and stable in that cube now, and we can line it up so that their roots go through the ice cube tray and down into our reservoir. Getting our roots directly into the water early is going to prevent them from drying out as water in our reservoir evaporates. If the water level isn't high enough to hit the rock wool, that rock wool will dry out, and so will our plant. At this point, we can expose our plants to full light. I've got my plants in front of a southern facing window with a supplemental grow light coming on through the afternoon and evening. We're looking for compact growth. If the plants are stretching vertically, get them more light. Checking in again on day 17, our seedlings are looking pretty good. As we look a little bit closer though, we can see that some of our roots are stuck up in the ice cube tray and seem to be drying out a bit. We can either top up our reservoir or reposition our plants so that the roots are going down directly into the water. I'm guiding roots through the tray holes individually. Bigger holes in the tray would make this even easier. We join these plants again on day number 21 we can see that our root systems are really starting to spread themselves out. This is just plain tap water, so these roots are going to keep stretching themselves, hoping to find nutrition. Three weeks in is typically when I will give nutrition to my plants. 
I'm moving each plant into an individual reservoir and mixing in nutrients. You can use a half or even quarter strength solution when feeding young seedlings. At this point, we are off to the races. Now that our plants have some nutrition, they should really start to grow. And that's how I germinate seeds and start plants with hydroponics. It's super easy and there's no real equipment needed, just everyday household items. Let me know any questions or concerns in the comments below. Be sure to check out the channel where I've documented the full life cycle of a bunch of different plants grown with hydroponics. Best of luck starting your own seeds. Thanks for watching and happy harvesting.